As a site owner, you can create your initial team site or other sites within your site. Keep in mind, your organization may have a process for requesting a team site, which may be started by clicking a link on a site portal or by simply emailing a request to the site administrator. In many cases, the IT department may have developed a detailed wizard to help site owners through the site creation process. To create a new site in SharePoint, under the Site Actions menu, start by clicking New Site. At this point, you have the option to choose the type of site you'd like to create. In this example, we'll start with the team site. The first step is to enter the site's name. This is the name that will be displayed in the site header, and remember it can be changed later. In this example, we'll use Information Services. The URL name is part of the site's address, so it should be short and related to the site name. In our example, a good address would be IS, short for Information Services. Before creating the site, look at the options available under More Options. The first option deals with how permissions are handled. The default here is to use the same permissions as the parent site. With this option, the permissions are inherited from the parent site, meaning those who can access the parent site can also access the team site with the same permissions. If the site will be limited to selected users or other permissions are needed, use the Unique Permissions option. Next, specify whether links to this site will appear in the Quick Launch area and top link bar of the parent site. And finally, you can choose whether this site will have its own top link bar or inherit one from its parent. Remember, these options can always be adjusted later under Site Settings. Now we can create the new site by clicking the Create button. In just a few seconds, the new site will be created. Notice the site name here in the header. And by navigating back up to the portal, a link to the new team site here in the top link bar.